League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Reno Aces and the Columbus Clippers. Next to bat will be Nick Heath. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Left side, but well foul. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Nick Heath becomes the first out of the inning. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Got him to go after a bad one there, and it evens the count at two and two. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, and the inning is over. Ready now is Gabriel Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1 pitch takes a pass and misses that strike two. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. And gone. An absolute bomb. In now, Tyler Krieger swung on but fouled off to the left. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. And he fouls this one off. He's set and the one two pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Thomas is there and he has it for the out. And stepping in, Batting Nolan third. Jones. The third baseman. Nolan. Jones. A wave and a wave miss made well. him reach. One, two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Batting Base four. is empty, two away, the and base. the next to bat will be Josh, Josh Naylor. Naylor. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Yep. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone Playing for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. And that one yanked just foul. Two out, nobody on. Popped him up. Richie is there. And that's the third out. So stepping in is Seth Beer. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Two one home. Wow, 
I think the heart of this system <laughs> is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. That is it. The designated hitter. Then from the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two, two and ball. one. One strike. And it's fouled away. Ball. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve full that count. time, Three and he makes it a strike. full count. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Stepping up is Jamie Ritchie. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Down the third baseline. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. The 2-1 home. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that one is gone! <laughs> Standing in now, George Valero. Oh. Two balls and a strike. He strike, two calls, and it's even at two. Four seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped the clutch on that pitch. Ball. Fastball didn't miss by much, full and it's count. a full count now. Three and two. And he popped him up. Perdomo will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Riding forward now is the D.H. Bernie Clement. One out, nobody on. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Ready with the payoff pitch. That's a ball. And oh, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. So next to bat will be Brian LaVarnway. Love Throw over to first. A dive, he's but he's back. Clement, base runner at first with one out. And no. able to lay off the fastball Two away one. here. Two and one now. Took a good cut that Play time, two. but comes up two. empty. Two and two. Rounded to the right. Reined in. One there. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Next, it'll be Aaron Braccio as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Now the 2-1 pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. In the dirt. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. No pattern number 13. Stepping in now, Gabriel Arias. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Into the box, Tyler Krieger, and that misses.
is ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. So now to the play, Nolan Jones, who went down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. And now, Andy Young, 7-8-9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their Two job balls. one at one bat strike. at a time. Now the 2-1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Ready with another 2-2. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Next here is Drew Ellis. Drew Ellis. Two and one. No. Bases are empty. One Two man. One. All even now. Two and two. Ball. Uh, tried to bury one down and away, but it's full down count full. now. Three, Three and two. Strikes. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Popped up. Naylor waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now at the plate, here is Geraldo Perdomo. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Scooped up. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Bottom of the third now. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Strike taken as the curveball okay. drops into the bottom part of the zone. Oh, and good patience oh. exercised as he works out to walk to lead off the home half of the third. Now Next to hit right is Daniel Johnson. Daniel. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park no, in his previous it. at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that's the center field. To the plate now, George Valera. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. But this won't be in time as he's well safe and the run scores. Riley Smith is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. At the plate, Bernie Clement. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. The second for one. Back to first. So they get the double play. But the run does come in to score. And out of the plate, Ryan, Ryan LaVarnway. LaVarnway. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Helping him out here as one he ball. swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt ball. toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Now that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, 6 inches. English has got it, and the side is retired. Yeah. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in Nick Heath as we begin the top of the fourth. Now the one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He'll put it away without much trouble and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. Stepping in next Alec Thomas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One out nobody on. Fouled off. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two Down back to four. back. Three, two. Now the three and two pitch. And we're yeah. awfully Take close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. The first base. Digging in will be Tristan English looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Hits this one hard the other way. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Digging in, the switch hitter, Aaron Bryant. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The 1-1. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Digging in next, Gabriel Arias. Hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the back rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Here now the 2-2. No. Tyler Krieger waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Hit on the ground out to short, right to him. And that's the out. second out. Now to the plate, here is Tyler Krieger. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. Chased a sinker outside the strike zone, one and two. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Popped him up. Perdomo will put this one away, and the side is retired. Now with the plate is Seth Beer struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Squared that one up just a little late. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone to lead off the inning. In now, Ben Deluzio. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continues. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And now in the box, the Jamie Ritchie. He's 0 for 1 after Jamie. grounding out in his only trip Ritchie. to the plate so far. And yeah. ooh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Striding in is Andy Young, struck out in his first at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. A 
again a 1-2. In the air, out to right. Johnson finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Nolan Jones. The one two. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Number number 22. Blake now, Josh Naylor. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And a full count now, three and two. Full count. No one out with a runner at second. Right side, scooped up. Only play will be the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Next up, Daniel Johnson. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So now into the box is George Valera. One for two on his line so far in the game. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Leading off the inning, it'll be Drew Ellis, and they could use a spark from him here. On its way is pitch number 75. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Another full count pitch home. He is blasted out to left center. This one's deep and not coming back. Gone! So now to the plate, Geraldo Perdomo. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Stepping in once again is Nick Heath. He flew out in his last A.B. On the ground to the left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. The batter, the left fielder. Into the box, Alec Thomas. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batting the first base. Tristan. Stepping in now, Tristan English. Ball. Breaking ball stays high and misses for a ball. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Here now the 2-2. Soft grounder left side. Fielded cleanly. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Seth Beer, runner in scoring position with two gone. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Down the left field line and deep. But this will wind up being a foul ball. To two ball. balls and two strikes now. Two, two. two out here and a runner at second. And he 
struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now and standing in is the D.H. Ernie Clement. The one one. Strike two, swinging. One, two, three, yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes ball. to the well one more time with that pitch. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Ball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff Take walk was certainly ball. not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. What hard way. The one-one home. This is flared out towards second. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Aaron Bracho. The two-one home. A slider that can't catch the outside. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Ben Deluzio. No hits to this point. One and two, here it comes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Now batting. Next up is Jamie Ritchie, grounded out in his last at bat. The 1 1. He swung on and missed for strike number two. One ball, two strikes. Misses, ball two. Well, Two he's ball. throwing a lot Two of strikes. pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Nick Sandlin enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. At the plate, Andy Young. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Two ball, one strike. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a three-one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. Fox now the pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So now here is Drew Ellis. He's working on a one for two game so far. And that home run he hit his last time up, he isn't going to forget about any time soon. He absolutely destroyed a fastball. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And he lays oh. off it to even the count two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. The bat, number two. Good bat. Geraldo. The plate now. Geraldo Perdomo. High in the air out to center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. That makes it six to five now. The center fielder, number nine. So they'll make a matchup Nick. move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Nick Heath will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike. One ball. Two 
it softly on the ground to first. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Stephon Crichton gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. The 2 1 home. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble, 3 and 1. Tyler Krieger is on deck. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now into the box. Tyler Krieger flew out last time up. Krieger. Count is one and two now. Now here it comes. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, the base hit. Now back, the third baseman. Into the box now, Nolan Jones. Ball. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Swing and a line drive. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The back. The first base hit. At the plate now, Josh Naylor. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. His prior history versus this arm. He's hitless in three at-bats. He's fallen no. behind now, three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three-one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or you just pitch around? And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Now back, right fielder, Daniel. So now to the plate, Daniel Johnson down the left field line and deep. But uh, this will wind up being a foul ball. The one two. No. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now it'll be George Valera. He's working on a one for three thus far. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Into the box, Alec Thomas, one for two with a double on his line thus far. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Yep. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's Five, outcome. Three. Dan, d -Row, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. High in the air out to center field. Valera is there now, and he has it to gone. James Karinchek enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter Seth Beer. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The one one home. Chopped weakly to the left. Here he comes again, one, two. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Krieger gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Kevin Ginkle is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37, Kevin Ginkle. Now to bat, Bernie Clement, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that's high and off the plate, 2 and 1. Popped him up. Ellis shading to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. So the next to bat will be Brian Lafarnway. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that will end up a foul ball. The 3 2, one more time. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. Gone! Standing in now, Aaron Bracho, left side, reined in. Throw in time out. at first for route number two. Now back to the no top of the lineup, 13. stepping in, Gabriel Shortstop. Arias. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. And a changeup oh. here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Two pitches fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Popped up. And the catch is made right on top of the pitcher's mound for the third out. Cam Hill comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 27. All set to start the ninth in this one. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Ben Deluzio. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Grounded back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit. And the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Stepping in now, Jamie Ritchie. A ball and two strikes now. Got him. Next to stand in is Andy Young. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Deluzio leads off first with one away. To two and two Playing now. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And this one is gone. A home run.
to the plate now. Drew Ellis. Two and two. Two balls, two, two, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch count right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last three, thing you two. want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Payoff pitch home. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Hardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The next 3 2. Swing hard liner to left center. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Kirk McCarty gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. At the plate now is Geraldo Perdomo. Notched an RBI on the sack fly in his previous turn at the plate. The 1-1 one, one home. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Close one, eight to seven is how it finishes today. Columbus jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Shane Bieber is the winning pitcher of record. Number 25 permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Blazak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Final line score for our ball game.